Hi guys, Kelly from Omedia. Uh, we're going to be doing a, an update on the Starlink app speed test. So there's a lot of people that have been doing the speed test now and there's a little bit of confusion around it because there's actually three tests that happen when you run a speed test in the Starlink speed app. So the first thing you need to do is go to your phone, get to the Starlink app, you load it in there and on the bottom right or in the middle right you're going to see something that says speed. So when you push on that there, it's going to pull up and it's going to start three tests. The first test is marked as green. So this green circle is actually the internet feed from the Starlink router to your phone or device. So this one will change the most out of all the tests. Well, I shouldn't say that, the white one too, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. The green one will be affected by the amount of distance and the amount of um, barriers that are between you and the router. So this test, you can directly affect it. And the true test would be if you're really close to the router, then that would be your maximum speed. Um, but getting some distance, a few walls, and then you do the same test, you'll notice that that green one will drop off. The next one is the blue one. And this is perhaps the most important test for diagnosing in your network problems. The blue test is the test from the dishy to the internet system, the Starlink system, the, the, um, the satellite. Matt, what's that called? constellation sorry thank you Matt <laughs> the, the satellite constellation so this one's really important because this is telling you your true house speed the other ones are only telling you about the speed inside your home so this blue one when you do that test you're gonna get the exact amount of speed that is fed into your house the next one is the white test and this test gets everybody this is perhaps where it's the most confusing because this is the absolute speed or bandwidth testing of your phone device to the Starlink router. It has nothing to do with your internet speed, solely to do with the connectivity of your phone to the Starlink router. So you'll notice that those speeds sometimes are astronomical. They're like 400, 500, and we see people posting saying, I've got four or 500 uh, megabit speed from Starlink. No, no, you've got four or 500 megabits of speed between your device and the router. So if you had that internet speed from Starlink, you could hit it but that's not your true internet speed. Your true internet speed is the blue, the green is your device speed being fed to it, the white is, I guess what I'm gonna say, the full potential of it, if you ever had that ability. So just a little briefing on it. I'll, I'll run us through some tests now and we'll just show you the difference between what's gonna happen when you're further away from the router with walls and when you're close. So you have seen a few speed tests and now hopefully understand the difference between the green, blue and white circles. This is a handy tool to help diagnose Wi-Fi problems when properly used. If you've been enjoying these videos and want to find out more about your Starlink system, then head to our website www.starlinkcommunityforums.com and become a member for free. Make sure to subscribe too and thank you for the support.